let us start so this is example number 1 i think uh, this is just a triangle i want to find out the centroid of this triangular plate so what i'll do you know very well so centroid has to be found out with respect to two axes if it is a planar one otherwise three axes if it is uh, a solid shape hope you got it why i'm telling so with respect to three axes yes because uh, centroid is somewhere in between somewhere in between uh, somewhere on the surface to say on this surface over here okay so it is uh, uh, at a distance from this axis it is also at a distance from this axis so you 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 have to find out both the distances until unless you do both of them it is not complete okay so that is what we'll do we'll try to do figure out how to find out from one of the axis now so following the rules as we discussed yesterday okay uh, to find out distance from x axis you have to choose an element i have chosen a elemental strip which is of a width dy of a width dy and at a distance of y so length l length l of that elemental strip will vary linearly from bottom to the top of this triangle is it not from here to here it will have a linear variation of that particular strip length is it not so l will grow gradually from 0 over here to b over here is it not so that is what we will will use now we will try to do that by small exercise this is what this is using proportionality yes using similar triangle or proportionality you can do this okay so that is what i have done here as as well okay so what i get this is small length this length of the elemental strip is equal to b times of h minus y by h so this is quite okay easily conceivable okay so the coming to next so area of this small strip will be da that is length into small strip width that is d1 okay so that is area so centroid y bar should be equal to 1 by total area of this uh, triangle okay a integral of y da this is moment of this area is it not qx you can call it so y and da da comes from here y is y that will remain there so that is what is centroid so it is something like this okay so it is y bar is equal to this is complete area of this triangle this will remain the same if you take from x axis or from the y axis total area remains the same only this portion will change okay so this gives me y bar is equal to h by 3 this is your standard age old result that you have seen quite long time now okay so this is y this is total h if it is h so it is at a h by 3 from the base of the triangle okay so you can do try solving this incremental uh, taking elemental area along y also you can take along y also you can take and find out this can you do it along y you have to find out distance from y and can i take it from uh, this element like this yes only only problem will be it will be integration from here to here it will be different integral here to here will be another integral otherwise you can do it and in that case centroid of each shape will be at total length of this by two distance is it not by two distance so that will be this distance divided by 2 will be the centroid of that elemental strip is it not so that is what we'll have to take and we'll we can integrate it all over okay so that is another way but yes you will get two different integrals and that you have to do so anyway that you can keep uh, try doing it that is a not a suggested way though okay so then a second example again you have to do anyway if you have to find out distance of centroid from this axis that also you have to do okay so this time you will have to do two integrals is it not this time you will have to do two integrals same way 
you have to follow the similar technique okay this time you have to find the centroid from y axis distance okay so x bar you will be finding out anyway you will have to do two different integral one from for the this region another one for this region can you do it how will you do it let me wipe it off and just ask you how will you go for it now that you already know half of the result if it is a triangle centroid will be h by 3 okay h by 3 from here so it will be somewhere over here so can you use this result to yes that is what i was curious yes yes perpendicular you divide it in two different triangles now okay so this area okay so it will have its own cg somewhere over here is it not somewhere over here and another triangle centroid over here okay and you use this result to get that result that is x bar you can use this result to get it from right you need not to do integral again taking elemental strip doing integration and it not just integration integrating it in two pieces okay that is not required okay so x bar can be found out using that technique okay okay so moving ahead we have another uh, problem that is waiting that is centroid of basic shape another one that is semi circular disk now that you know uh, I, I, it, everything can be done in polar also okay i will prefer doing it in on polar why because the shape of the edge is very much like semi circular disk as it is said so it is like a circle and i prefer taking it in polar thing okay so that is what i'll do so i'll use everything in theta r d theta okay so again i have taken a small elemental strip at a distance y thickness dy okay and i'll express everything in terms of r and theta okay i could have easily done using uh, directly using y dy and x okay that is doable okay that is doable but that won't help much because length of this strip uh, if you try to find out in terms of y and r that is known it will be some square root or something will come ultimately while integrating you will have to do integration by substitution again similar thing will come up okay so why not start directly with polar thing you got it what i am trying to say even if you try to find out length of this okay so that length how much will that be that will be square root of r square minus y square so that length into dy is your area da okay so area so y da and integral if you do that moment that will include this to solve this integral you will have to put y as r cos theta r sin theta something like that you will have to put in order to integrate that so ultimately you are uh, virtually transforming your system to a polar system so that is the reason it is again advisable for this reason as well in order to do simplification right at the beginning so that is the reason i started like this okay so now begin let us begin so this is your system now qx will be y bar da so how much is y bar da so i have taken it this way definitely okay i have taken it this way definitely so da will be this so alternate approach or you can say this is directly the polar approach okay you can take y as r sin theta dy as r d theta cos theta and da as this hope you got this okay either you can use it or you use method of substitution here and do the things so both ways you can follow both the ways you can follow so assuming that so i have quickly put assuming r square minus y square as z this is yet another uh, substitution that i have followed that made my life even more simpler even more simpler why even by doing this 
or by doing this both ended up in a similar way okay so why not take another one as another assumption this time what i have assumed r square minus y square something which is inside the root as z and i converted it to a very simple integral form okay so this is another very good approach so without taking it in a polar way without taking it in a standard cartesian way this is again a cartesian way with a good substitution rather a method of good mathematics that is substituted here right so using that i quickly can get 2 by 3 times of r cube is it correct qx is r cube is it correct dimensionally yes why because it is qx is basically moment of area so area dimension is l square moment will be l finally l cube so that it looks like cube but yes it is okay okay so this is dimensionally correct so time to time you keep checking your results okay so if this thing as cube never appeared earlier as soon as i saw this it came to my mind quickly verified yes it is moment of an area so it is qx so qx is this okay and how will you get qy qy it will be symmetrically lying because the yes by symmetry it should lie along the x y axis itself so that will be equal to zero by symmetry okay y bar but that is not the case why y bar this is y bar actually this is y bar taking qx by a this is y bar x bar will be equal to 0 is it not x bar will be equal to not y bar equal to 0 so this is okay very good so this is a uh, problem number 2 for a similar uh, semi circular disk although it looked polar but solving it this way uh, went on well okay much simpler okay this is centroid of a wire frame centroid of a wire frame this is not a solid triangle or a laminar okay so how will you go for it center of mass for each and every piece because they are straight lines okay piece of wires so i assume this is the piece okay not an extended lens this is there okay so now segment wise you have to do this this way you can create a table if at all it comes in exam also okay so you can just create a table l length x bar and y bar for that particular length okay the one which is in consideration so segment ab that is this one length is 600 okay x bar means this point from y axis x bar is always from y axis y bar is from x axis distance from x axis so that will be equal to 0 x bar l x bar l this is moment of this okay so that comes out to be this and y bar l again you create keep creating table for bc segment this one okay for ca segment this one same way okay now you got two major things okay that is what is uh, very much required in order to find out uh, center of mass of this or center of uh, centroid of this also okay so summation will give you summation of l that is required summation of x bar l okay summation of y bar l so effectively total x bar this was individual x bar for each element it is total x bar that means for the whole piece combined together it will be like this similarly y bar right this is another one hope you got this one if there is any query let me know this are these are very very trivial uh, hope i am not going very fast okay so maybe we can try to cover as much as possible today at least examples okay so let us go this one centroid of an arc of a circle arc of a circle this is the piece i want to find out right okay let us begin how should i move on polar 
definitely not cartesian this time polar okay so it is l will be integral of dl that is equal to r d theta dl is r d theta if you integrate it from minus alpha to plus alpha because it is 2 alpha symmetrically placed so it gives you 2 r alpha 2 r alpha or it can directly be written if it is in radian you can write 2 alpha times r is equal to this that you already knew you can directly write this okay need not to find it out using integral okay moving next so q y q y that will be equal to x dl x dl each of this element will have its own x okay that will be given as r cos theta is it okay x that is the distance of this that is x okay that is given by r this is your r cosine theta that is this distance okay so that is your x so r cos theta and dl will be r d theta that comes here okay so x dl will be given by this clear so that is qy qy is done so if you integrate that you can quickly get qr as this qy as this okay so since qy is equal to x bar times of l that is using your first principle that you have derived earlier okay so x bar will be directly given by this l is total length x bar times of l should be equal to qy and qy is already known so that gives you x bar something like this and y bar will be because it is symmetrically placed on either side it will be zero okay very good so that's all and yes this is if alpha is equal to 90 degree it comes out to be this alpha is 90 degree means it is completely like this half of a disk okay so that is a special case of this yes uh, yes any query here